Corwin. I'm Brandy Carlisle. This is Tim Hanseroff. Phil Hanseroff. And you are in the attic recording studio that we built with our own hands about 20 years ago. We've been making uh, a, a physical manifestations of independently minded music for people for over two decades in this space. And uh, right now we're listening to my greatest hero of all time, Sir Elton John, Madman Across the Water on vinyl. And uh, Elton John, when he's on tour, when he's at home, he goes into the independent record store in his neighborhood and he picks up an armload of records to introduce people to new music that they wouldn't ordinarily hear. And um, along with his music, that's always had a profound influence on me. Here's a couple of my favorite records and, and memories. Um, the Carter Family, signed by the Carter Family. This brings back memories for me because I used to have a leaky roof and not be able to afford it and, and it would leak um, on the signatures and I almost lost it but I didn't. And so it's still here to remind me of that time and to remind me of the origins of country music. Um, me and the Twins have never made an album that we didn't put on vinyl and that we didn't intend to be in an independent record store. Uh, this is our first album. Brandy Carlisle, Brandy Carlisle, hell of a title. This is our most recent album, By the Way I Forgive You. This might be one of our all-time favorite ones we ever did. We've used music, physical music, to do important things in the world um, to the best of our ability. We use this vinyl album to raise over a million dollars for refugees, children li living and struggling in conflict zones. Um, we use this album to support other women. Um, we've produced this album for the Secret Sisters, and another one's coming out, and this one, Tanya Tucker. Um, this music and this artwork are integral parts of who we are as a band. And I know these guys have some records they want to point out too. Okay, Harvest by Neil Young. This is the most influential, beloved record I've, I've owned in my life. I have like several copies that I've picked up over the years at uh, independent record stores. Uh, and I first discovered it in my mother's record collection when I was a teenager. And uh, I remember it being instantly transportive to me. It took me to the 70s. It took me to the, you know, dusty southwest. It took me to denim. And I love that I can open it up and just read about uh, the artists that played on there, who produced it, and all everything else. And I, and I love that you get a picture of the band. You, you can't get that with a digital um, copy. It's really important to me that independent record stores continue to thrive because uh, I want somebody else, I want my children and other people out there to be able to find their harvest and get lost in that. Uh, it means a lot to me and uh, yeah, thank you. Um, I have a very large collection of vinyl, uh, maybe over a thousand records. Uh, most <laughs> of them uh, I've picked up just on the road, uh, touring the last 15, 20 years, going around to independent music stores in whatever town we happen to be playing in. Um, and I love talking to the person behind the counter, just asking them what's hip and new, telling them what kind of music I, I like and finding new stuff too. But um, a lot of uh, stuff that you find in these stores you cannot find like uh, online. And if, if you can, you, you know, it's really important to have like the physical copy too. Like a lot of this stuff will turn up in our music, at least aesthetically. Um, yeah. Something that will only survive as long as we have uh, music in a physical form. So that's why I think it's super important to uh, support independent music retailers. Yeah, man. This, um, this is maybe one of my favorite albums of all time. This is my mother-in-law's copy of Joni Mitchell's Blue from 1972. And uh, this album has somebody's memories in it. This made its way all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to live here in Seattle with me and Catherine. And, um, this is my copy of that album all these years later, signed by the Queen herself. The reason this is important is because these aren't just albums. It's not just an album to Joni Mitchell. These, these are somebody's dreams. Everything about it, what's in here and what you hear coming through your speakers. And what independent record stores do is they mine, archive, love, meticulously care for, and make available to you other people's dreams. And that is why it gives me great pride to tell you that we are this year's 2020 Independent Record Store Ambassadors. 
Thank you so much for recognizing this love in me and the twins and giving this, this opportunity. We won't let you down. Support your independent record stores. Keep them open for our kids, for our music, and for people's dreams.